What's up everyone, welcome back to Every Tech Time. Sorry I haven't made any content in two weeks, I've just been busy with other real life stuff, including stuff that had to do with the holidays, since last week was Christmas and all that. Plus I was a little head sick the past week, and when I'm sick I really don't feel like making any videos, but I'm still alive and I'm ready to make new content again. Anyway, this is a tech comparison video on two image formats, JPEG and PNG. Yes, it's been a while since I did a tech comparison video, but here I am doing one now. Anyways, both JPEG and PNG photo file formats have the same similarities, but they also have some differences as well. So let's start with the JPEG format. JPEG is a lossy compressed image format for digital images, just like almost all image formats. With photos in the JPEG format, you can adjust things like the degree in the compression, storage size, and image quality. But sometimes JPEG photos can have a loss in quality. This image format is the common format used for photos taken by digital cameras. The aspect ratio of a JPEG photo can range around 1 by 1 with around 4 gigapixels. I will show you what I'm talking about a little better in the picture comparison later on. But for now, I would say that JPEG is in the middle of good and bad. There is another name for the JPEG format called JFIF, or JPEG File Interchange Format. This format was developed by Joint Photographic Experts Group. There are alternatives to the JPEG format, including JPEG 2000, JPEG XR, and JPEG XT. Now moving on to the PNG format. PNG, or Portable Network Graphics, is a lossless image format made by raster graphics. Unlike the JPEG image format, PNG photos are not made by a digital camera, but are rather computer generated. This is what may count as user generated content. And JPEG photos from a digital camera may be converted to the JPEG format via a raster graphics editing software. Photos in the PNG format can have a transparent background, and regular photos in the PNG format are often crisp and clear. In other words, shown in higher resolutions, including 24-bit and 32-bit qualities. PNG is an alternative to the SVG format, or Scalable Network Graphics, and was created to be an improvement and replacement for the GIF format, or Graphics Interchange Format. I will now show you a comparison between the JPEG and PNG image formats, and in this comparison will be a photo in both formats, and there will be zooming in to show the amount of pixels present in both images. And I'll see you guys right after this. As you can see, this JPEG image is pretty clear in a decent quality. This could be because of the fact that I have a good camera, but this is what a JPEG image may look like. We are now going to zoom into the image and see that there are a bit of grainy pixels. This shows that JPEG may not be very good if you are going to edit them in such a way that you would zoom in too close. We are now moving on to the PNG format. This is the same picture as before, but in the PNG format and taken with a webcam that supports PNG photos. This image has the same quality as the JPEG image but a bit more crisp and sharp. Now if we zoom into the image, we can see that it still has a good number of pixels, but some pixels have been excluded. So this is probably why PNG may be better for taking good photos you can zoom into. So what do you think? Well, if you like high resolution photos, then maybe go with the PNG format. But JPEG might also be good if the photos you take have good quality and you have a really good camera. It's really up to you. Thanks for watching, and if you like this comparison, then rate, comment, and subscribe for more tech videos. Oh, and happy belated new year to all of you, and welcome to 2019. This is every tech time. Goodbye.